if you have an infinity for simplicity, mm. so if you, if you just want to live a simple life, raise your kids, maybe be stress-free financially, don't have to be wealthy, but mm. stress-free, it might mean you can't live in the city. <laughs> mm. Which um, wouldn't be complaining about living in an apartment building. I live in the Yarra Valley in Victoria, which is, you know, the countryside. So Mm. like, I'm I'm telling people to move out, but like, do you know what I mean? So you, you, you do have to make sacrifices depending on what your values are. And yeah, people are just so, maybe it's the TikTok generation or... Mm. The social media generation, you might know this being in the dating scene, I don't mm, know, mm. but like, yeah, women are very materialistic. Um, and the, uh, they're, they're happy to spend three grand XYZ on XYZ that you must have and you're like, oh. Yeah, happy to spend three grand on a Louis Vuitton bag, but, yep. you know, don't have enough money for rent this week. It's like, what's happening? Mm, <laughs> what's mm. going on? I had a conversation with, once again, won't make it clear as to who this is, and they were talking about buying quite an expensive car, already uh-huh. have quite a big house. Uh-huh. But oh, sending my kid to a private school is a bit too expensive, and I'm like, I understand. Like, it's if your, your opinion on whether public or private is better. That was like, regardless of that conversation, I'm yeah. like, you can't. Aff- you're worried about the money side of it. Yeah. But you draw. You're wanting to buy a two hundred thousand dollar car and live in a massive house. Yeah, because what it's all the- about appearances. Exactly. I'm like, yeah. and it's all about then the insecurity that has been created. I think in the world as well, which leads us down that path. Yeah. It is, it's strange, man. It's, I don't know how we got here. Um, yeah. But yeah, look, for me, I, I, I say I say that I'm a feminist. I, I hope that I mm. am a feminist. Um, I think women and men should be equal in mm. all aspects of life. I don't think women and men are equal physically. Mm. Well, there's. <laughs> Sorry there's, to say. There's, there's reality to that per- as well. Burst your bubble, ladies. <laughs> um, so, you know, if I need to move something in my house, I get my husband to do it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and do I'm it. sure he's pretty chuffed when someone, like, he's very as chuffed. a dude, I can guarantee you when someone asks you, you're like, yep, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. that's a way to make them feel good. Trust that's me. Right. Like, but like when he wants a really nice meal cooked, mm. he asks me to do it because he's terrible <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Plain chicken, like <laughs> yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. um, but outside of that, like we're equal, you yeah. know, we earn the same amount of money and we raise our children the same and all of those sorts of aspects. So I don't want people to think that I don't, I don't believe in that. I, I just, I, I just think we're so, so removed from like who humans really should be and mm. who families really should be. And like, what, what do you really value in life? Like, mm. do you really value that Louis Vuitton bag and that Audi car? And, mm. you know, like, is that what you truly value or do you value love? Do you value compassion? Do you value your health? Yeah. Um, and I just wish more people were a little bit deeper. Yeah. I just really wish they were a lot deeper. Mm. Probably comes from now the added comparison game of <coughs> social media. Oh, for and sure. And things like that. Like it's, it was always, it's it, comparison is a, th- it's not like it's a new thing, mm. but when you now can compare yourself to literally everyone in the whole world and you see a 16 year old that somehow is a millionaire and you're mm. like, shit, why aren't I a millionaire? Dad? And you're like, oh, they're faking it. But you don't know that. <laughs> like it's, you know, so it's hard to differentiate between that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the digital prison that is the rectangle in our pockets is very dangerous. And you, and I always have to tell myself this, like I wouldn't know anything about this person mm. <laughs> if I didn't have social media. The same goes, and I, we won't, don't have to get into it because it's a hot topic, but like <laughs> I wouldn't know what's happening in Palestine if it wasn't for social media. Mm, mm. I wouldn't know what's going mm. on in the Ukraine. Like the the bombardment of information mm. of stuff that really actually we shouldn't know, mm. <laughs> just purely based off where we live globally, is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, and I, and I and saying that to myself on a constant basis is really helpful because I sometimes I'll catch myself comparing myself maybe to somebody else and I'm mm. like, wait a second. If, if I didn't even have this app, would mm. I even know mm. that this is existing right now? No. No. You know, so, so you, you have to exercise that high level of awareness. Otherwise, mm. you can get caught real quickly. Head over to Jordan Checker Podcast to get the full exclusive experience.